A monumental discovery could soon help answer one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? The mystery deepens today as residents of the New York metro area report a growing number of strange drone sightings. But at the same time, something even more intriguing is happening in the cosmos. For the first time ever, researchers are turning their attention to Triton, Neptune's largest and most mysterious moon, using the cutting-edge technology of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Webb has the extraordinary ability to detect infrared light, light that is invisible to the human eye. This capability opens up a completely new world of possibilities when it comes to studying distant objects. Triton, a moon that has long been a subject of curiosity for scientists, is now being examined with unprecedented detail, giving us a glimpse into its surface, atmosphere, and potentially even the secrets it has been hiding for billions of years. But what exactly can Webb reveal? Could it uncover the ingredients necessary for life? Will it help us finally understand whether this frozen moon has a secret ocean buried beneath its icy surface? Keep watching, as we unravel how Webb might shed light on these tantalizing mysteries. Triton is not just another cold, desolate moon. It's a cosmic enigma right in Neptune's backyard, a world that reflects a significant portion of the sunlight that strikes it. Its surface is covered in a cool, icy layer made mostly of nitrogen. For years, astronomers have speculated about what could be happening on this frozen world. However, with the arrival of the James Webb Space Telescope, we are about to enter a new era of cosmic discovery, one where we'll see Triton not just with new eyes, but with the most advanced instruments ever made. Think of the James Webb Space Telescope as a cosmic detective. But this detective is no ordinary sleuth, Webb uses infrared light instead of just visible light, which allows it to observe things that we'd otherwise miss. It's like seeing in a whole new dimension. Rather than simply snapping pictures, Webb's instruments analyze the infrared light coming from Triton, enabling scientists to uncover secrets about its temperature, its atmosphere, and the materials on its surface. Imagine looking at a piece of art, but instead of seeing it in vibrant color, you see it in a different, more mysterious spectrum of light, a spectrum that reveals hidden details you wouldn't have noticed otherwise. While Webb's instruments may not be able to take Instagram-worthy photos of Triton like a rover could, they do something even more exciting. They allow us to create detailed maps of Triton's composition. By analyzing how light interacts with Triton's surface, Webb can reveal how hot or cold different areas of the moon are, what chemicals are present, and even where there might be pockets of unusual materials. All of this information is vital to understanding Triton's past and present, and may even provide the key to unlocking the moon's deepest secrets. The telescope's infrared vision is like a new kind of artist creating an intricate, cosmic masterpiece. But this isn't a painting you would find in a gallery, this is a map that could change the way we view the moon. Instead of ordinary colors, Webb uses infrared hues to illustrate the composition of Triton, whether that's methane, nitrogen, or other frozen substances. It's like creating a topographical map of a world that we've only ever seen from a distance. With this new perspective, scientists can begin to hypothesize whether Triton has experienced major events in its history, like collisions with large space objects, or whether it once harbored volcanic eruptions that released frozen gases into space. Webb's infrared observations also allow scientists to study Triton's thin atmosphere, which is primarily made of nitrogen. The sunlight that hits Triton can cause ice to turn into gas, and Webb is able to monitor these changes in real time, giving us a clearer understanding of Triton's weather patterns. It's similar to watching steam rise from a cup of hot cocoa on a cold winter morning, the heat from the drink causes the water to change states, just as heat from Triton's interior might be causing its surface to undergo dramatic transformations. But what truly sets this mission apart is the potential for finding a secret ocean beneath Triton's icy shell. 
While Webb cannot directly detect this hidden ocean, it's on the lookout for clues that might point to its existence. For example, if Webb identifies unexpected warm spots on the surface, these could indicate that something beneath the ice is bubbling up to the surface, perhaps water or some other form of geological activity. These warm spots might be the key to understanding whether Triton, like Europa and Enceladus, is harboring the conditions necessary for life beneath its frozen exterior. Triton is more than just a distant and frigid moon, it could be a cosmic time capsule, preserving clues about the formation of our solar system. By mapping out its surface and studying its composition, Webb might help answer some profound questions. Did Triton form alongside Neptune, or was it captured by the planet's gravity at some point in the distant past? Was Triton ever home to active geological processes, such as cryovolcanism? Could these processes have created the conditions for life to thrive? These are just some of the exciting possibilities that Webb's observations might help us explore. One of the most fascinating aspects of Webb's mission is the potential for finding evidence of cryovolcanism, volcanic activity on Triton that involves the eruption of ice instead of molten rock. If Webb detects gases like methane or carbon monoxide coming from the surface, it could be a sign that cryovolcanoes are still active on Triton, spewing out a mixture of frozen gases. This would be groundbreaking, as it would suggest that Triton is still a dynamic, evolving world, a place where geological activity may still be happening, even after billions of years. But Triton's surface isn't just interesting for what's on top, it's the potential for what's below that really captures the imagination. Some scientists believe that Neptune's powerful gravity might be keeping a secret ocean safely hidden beneath Triton's icy surface. While Webb can't see this ocean directly, it's searching for subtle signs that might point to its existence. For example, unusual heat signatures on Triton's surface could be an indicator that something warm is bubbling up from below. If Webb detects these types of anomalies, it could be the first step in uncovering one of the most exciting discoveries in planetary science. While Webb's findings will undoubtedly provide us with incredible insights into Triton, there's still much more to be done. Future missions, such as landers or probes, may be needed to confirm the existence of a subsurface ocean and to study Triton's surface in greater detail. These missions could provide more direct evidence of the Moon's geologic activity, its atmospheric composition, and the possibility of life. With Webb's data as a foundation, these future missions could map Triton's surface in high resolution, sample materials from its icy crust, and even study any plumes of water or gases that might erupt from below. The combination of Webb's discoveries and future spacecraft will give us a fuller picture of Triton, a moon that might not be so cold and lifeless after all. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped with some of the most advanced sensors for studying distant worlds. For example, its near-infrared camera, NERCAM, can pierce through the haze surrounding Triton and detect faint light reflected off its surface, allowing scientists to identify the chemicals present in the ice. By mapping out the intensity of this light across different wavelengths, scientists can create a detailed compositional map of Triton's surface. The near-infrared spectrograph, NERSPEC, works in tandem with NERCAM, dissecting the light coming from Triton into its individual wavelengths. This allows scientists to identify the distinctive fingerprints of various molecules, providing insights into the temperature and abundance of materials on the Moon. The mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, takes things even further, enabling Webb to peer deeper into Triton's atmosphere and possibly detect trace gases like methane and carbon monoxide. These gases could provide vital clues about Triton's geologic activity and the presence of ongoing processes beneath its icy surface. Despite Webb's incredible capabilities, there are challenges to overcome. Triton is located roughly 2.8 billion miles from Earth, and this vast distance makes it difficult to capture high-resolution images. 
long exposure times are required due to the faintness of the reflected light, and this makes it tricky to detect rapid changes in Triton's atmosphere. Nevertheless, Webb's observations are just the beginning. As Webb continues its observations and future missions are launched, our understanding of Triton will likely undergo a dramatic transformation. The journey to Neptune and Triton is no simple task. With current propulsion technology, the trip would take over 10 years. Additionally, the weak sunlight at Neptune's distance makes it difficult to generate power for traditional spacecraft. However, by using nuclear power, gravity assists, or specialized smaller probes, scientists can overcome these obstacles and continue their exploration of Triton. Lastly, as we embark on this journey to study Triton, we must be careful to protect its pristine environment. The potential for life on Triton, however small, requires us to take extra precautions to avoid contaminating the moon with earthly microbes. Striking a balance between exploration and safeguarding Triton's potential for life will be crucial in the coming decades. Now that you've seen how Webb's mission to Triton could change our understanding of this distant world, we want to hear from you. Do you think Triton could harbor life? What other mysteries of the outer solar system do you think Webb will help us unlock? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting updates on space exploration. Together, Let's keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos.